Hey everyone, in today's video we're diving into the latest iOS 17.3 update for your iPhone. Apple has rolled out some significant changes and new features that you'll definitely want to know about. Let's get started. First up, a major security update, the stolen device protection feature. Imagine if your iPhone gets stolen and the thief knows your passcode. They could access almost everything, right? Well, not anymore. With iOS 17.3, Apple has introduced an additional layer of security. This means that actions like accessing iCloud keychain passwords, applying for an Apple card, or even erasing all contents now strictly requires Face ID or Touch ID authentication, if the feature is enabled. There are even settings that require biometric authentication with a one hour delay before changes can be made. It sounds intense, but for those worried about theft, this is a game changer. To enable the stolen device protection, you will need to navigate into settings, then scroll down to face ID and passcode. You'll type in your passcode, and then you'll scroll down until you see stolen device protection. Just tap on turn on protection. Now let's move on to Apple Music. There's a cool new feature for subscribers, collaborative playlist. Now you and your friends can add, reorder, and remove songs from a playlist and even leave animated emoji reactions in the share playlist. It's a fun way to interact and enjoy music together. Let me show you how to make a collaborative playlist. Let's start off by navigating into Apple Music itself. Now let's create a new playlist. Let's give it a name and we'll call this H&M because I plan to share it with my brother and then tap on create. You will then see the new collaborate icon on the top right. Just tap on it. Here you'll be able to approve collaborators or not. Then tap on start collaboration. This menu will pop up and you can send it to anyone you want to collaborate with. You can also tap on the collaborative icon once you've done the process and you'll get this menu. Here you'll have a share invite link where once again you can send it to anyone you want and even a QR code which would make it easy for people just to scan the code and automatically be added to your playlist. Here you'll also have the option to stop collaboration altogether. Here's something for travelers. iOS 17.3 enables your iPhone to connect to select hotel TVs via AirPlay. Just scan a QR code on the TV and voila, you'll stream content right from your phone. No more having to deal with those clunky hotel TV menus. Currently, only a select number of hotels have announced support, but let's hope it rolls out widely to all hotels. So that's a wrap on what's new on iOS 17.3. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these updates. Drop your comment below and share how you're finding iOS 17 in general. And hey, if you enjoy the rundown, don't forget to hit subscribe to help me reach my first thousand subscribers. I'll see you in the next video.